Today I share with you how I cook this delicious and mouth watering food for my husband. So because today is a very very special day in the life of my husband and at the same time I get this done for him and every due process I use to get this amazing food done, I'm going to share with you all for you guys to see how this gorgeous and mouth watering food is being done. It was everything delicious and at the same time I'm so grateful to get this done for him. To begin I'm going to be adding already water chicken inside this pan. Next is to season that with onions and the same time hot pepper after adding that next i'm going to be adding a scurry powder at the same time chicken spice and then adding salt to taste next i'm adding a snow cube then adding water that is going to enable that to get cooked I, then i have to stir to get down so sweetie you need to share this recipe for you to get this done i swear the same way i'm getting my done because you are going to love it especially when you get this done for hobby okay it's a very very special food then i cover that to cook this is 20 minutes of cooking that it cooks so nice at this point and then it comes out so perfect so what i do now is to break everything out from the stock water then transfer that back inside this hot oil so i'm going to fry that until it turns got the brown color I hope you always remember to do something for your hobby, especially on a special day in his life. So always do something special for your husband, especially on a special day in his life. It's very important because everyone needs to be celebrated. Okay, so after getting that fry, this is what I have. It fries so nice at this point. So all I do now is to bring everything out from the hot oil like this. It fries so perfect so just transfer everything back over here and then this is what i have after frying if you are using chicken lab especially if you are using boiler just expect to have something like this and the same time it's also delicious to get done this way and the same time i'm going to be using the same oil to fry this plantain because i'm going to add plantain in the food so this is the right plantain that i'm frying with the oil i just have to fry that until they come out golden brown color like this after frying that, this is what I have. It fries so nice. I just love the color. So all I do now is to separate the plantain from the oil like this. For the chicken, I'm not done with the chicken. So we are going to get the rest of the recipe of the chicken done as we proceed. So for now, we are going to be preparing the rice. So far, you are going to be adding oil, adding onions, the same time hot pepper. Then I set that together. Next is for me to season that with chicken cube and next is to add the curry powder and then salt to taste. So I'm just going to stir fry this for just 2 minutes then 2 minutes later this is what I have. At this point I'm going to be adding already washed rice. After adding the rice I stir, stir fry the rice for 5 minutes. So 5 minutes later this is what I have. All I do now is to keep stirring again and then give it another 5 minutes again before I add the water. It was everything nice when you follow this process. So this is 10 minutes of the frying that it fries so perfect. Now I'm going to be adding chicken stock. Then next is to add the water. At this point you are going to be adding the water that is going to enable the rice to cook. So all I do now is to allow the rice to cook until it's ready to use. Next is to add an oil inside this pan, then add in this already marinated prawns and then stir fry that. I'm going to keep on stir frying the prawns until it's ready to use. So that is going to take about 10 minutes to get the prawns fried like this. The prawns fry so perfect like this and at the same time it was looking so yummy. Then take everything out from the pan. Then on the same pan, add in more oil and then add in onions. Next is to add in is garlic and stir together. I have to stir this one about two minutes before I proceed. Two minutes of stir fry. This is what they look like. All I do now is to add in this gizzard. Then add in the gizzard. I stir fry the gizzard for three minutes before I proceed. Three minutes later, this is what it looks like. It fries so nice. Now I'm going to be adding vegetable. So over here we have the green beans and the same time carrots. And then stir that together. Next is to add in is chicken cube. And then adding salt to taste. I stir the same. 
this food is specially made for my husband and the center it was everything massive at this point i'm going to be adding bean peppers over here we have the green yellow and red bean peppers all i do is to add all of it on top and stir fry like this this just take me about three minutes to stir fry the vegetables and then three minutes later i'm going to be adding the cooked rice at this point the rice has cooked all i do is to transfer everything on top of the vegetable and stir that together I have to stir fry the rice for five minutes before it's going to be ready just make sure all the veggies and the rice get combined like this so this is three minutes of getting that stir at this point i'm going to be adding the prawns and then keep on stir frying the rice was so delicious like it was so so perfect and yummy we can't even get enough of this food so that it was so perfect so this is me after getting that stir fry about seven minutes now all i do now is to turn off the heat like this so at this point the rice is ready it was scenting so perfect so don't forget to stir fry your rice so that all the ingredients and the rice will get combined so at this point it's ready i keep it aside on this pan i'm going to be adding oil the same time adding garlic next to adding is onions and then adding hot pepper after adding the pepper, next is to do is to stir that together. I'm going to stir fry this for three minutes before I proceed. Three minutes later, this is what it looks like. The pepper fries so perfect at this point. Next for me to do is to add in tomato paste. And then I make use of Gino. I make use of just one pack of it and stir together. I'm going to be stir frying this Gino paste for three to four minutes before I proceed like this. At this point, it fries so nice. So what I do now is to add in this burnt pepper. Over here, we have already burnt pepper. So that is red burnt pepper. I just add that and stir together. So now I'm going to get that seasoning with chicken cube and the same time just break that everything in and then add in this uh, curry powder and then sort of taste. I stir together. Next is for me to add in is the chicken stock. I use a little bit of it and then stir that together. So this is going to enable the sauce to look more juicy before you can add in the chicken. So over here we are going to be adding the already fried chicken on top of the sauce like this. So I add in all the chicken and then stir the sauce and the chicken together until they get combined like this. So once I achieve that, what I do now is to add in this burnt peppers, that is the same red, yellow and green burnt pepper. Add everything and let this to get simmer with the chicken until it comes out so perfect and delicious. So I allow this to get simmer about 10 minutes before it gets ready like this. 10 minutes later, I see that the oil, everything set to at this point, that means it's ready and this was setting so perfect. We enjoy the chicken more better like this now i'm going to transfer the chicken back inside this plate the chicken is looking yummy <laughs> i just love how i get the chicken done like this it makes it look more special and delicious so at this point it's ready see how gorgeous that look it was everything yummy <laughs> look at that so now it's ready see now it cooks so nice the same time it was so so soft just imagine it was so perfect at this point it's ready to go down next we are going to prepare a salad over here we have cabbage we have the purple the same time we have the white next is to add in is corn and then carrot next i'm adding is this lemon i always add in lemon juice inside my salad so next is to add in is mayonnaise and then stir that together so I'm going to stir everything until the mayonnaise and the salad get combined. Okay, that is the vegetable get combined and they form this beautiful salad for us. Okay, so at this point it's done and then it was so, so perfect. So don't forget to add in lemon juice inside your salad. So it's going to enable you to get any excess fat burn. So at this point we are done and the food is ready. So this is me serving for us to enjoy. Trust me guys, this food was everything perfect. Today I said it's a special day in the life of my husband. It's not just his birthday today, but my husband is celebrating 
45 years today so today my husband just clocked 45 years can you guess imagine it was not an easy journey like it can only be god i'm so grateful for doing this with him i'm so grateful for being part of his life journey i pray for him today every good and new age have to offer to reach his hand god that make him to see this special day is going to make him to see many many more years ahead of him and every of the years is going to be celebrated by the grace of god i'm so grateful for having this special man in my life my husband is everything i need in husband and i can never thank god less for bringing him in my way and i'm so grateful having him in my life so supportive and the same time so appreciative i'm so grateful for what god has done for us so far and i keep asking for more because it can only be god so sweetie all you need to do is to appreciate my husband for me wishing well because we have photo coming your way for you guys to view is 45 years photo shoot okay guys so all you need to do is to share this recipe for your family and try this for them everyone need to be celebrated so always celebrate people around you because they need to be celebrated don't forget to share my next one bye